The thoughts, views, and comments expressed by Rodney Monker, his guests, callers, and advisors on Freedom March are not necessarily those of the management, ownership, or production unit of ILS, the Verizon Media Group. Freedom March is a production of ILTV Studios and cannot be reproduced or represented in part or entirety without the express written consent of the Verizon Media Group. Freedom March is the intellectual property of the Verizon Media Group. Copyright 2017. All rights are reserved. The role of a woman in the society is to submit. Void control are the pills of the devil. Education is so fundamental to the development of a people. Hang murderers. Simple as that. What am I voting for? Voting will change nothing. Good moon I see Kumo ye. God save the queen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We have made it to the year 2018. Lord Jesus, I thank you that I did not expect to make it to the year 2018. God is so good. Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome all of you to the year 2018. Broadcasting live from ILTV Studios here in Nassau, Bahamas. Welcome to Freedom March. My name is Rodney Monker. I'm a Justice of the Peace here within the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. And of course, I'm a member of the local Catholic Christian community. I have been in contact with my spiritual advisor, Bradley Roll. But in the midst of the new year, people are partying and enjoying themselves. My spiritual advisor got lost, but praise the Lord, he has indicated to me that he's on his way to the studio. Isn't God wonderful that we have made it to 2018? And there are so many pressing issues that must be discussed in 2018 because for the first three days of 2018 I tell you no lie I mentally and spiritually was taken up into the clouds I've been in the clouds for the last three days and in the clouds I am able to see things I'm seeing things I'm hearing things and I know things so for 2018 I have some prediction that I'd like to make. I see for 2018 a beautiful marriage. I see Candia Dames being joined in holy matrimony to a charming Negro attorney at law. That's what I'm saying. If I am wrong, please forgive me because you know I is see things. But I see Candia dressed in a wedding gown. So Candia will be married in 2018. That's what I see. But if she isn't married, well, don't blame me. Because Candia can be complex sometimes. So throughout the show, I shall tell you the things that I'm seeing in the cloud for 2018. 2018 is a powerful year it is the year for the woman them and to this in this year we are going to build woman man and the children them that's what we're going to do we're going to come together and we're going to build woman have you built a woman before i'm going to show you how to build the woman them we save them in 2016, 2018 is another challenge. And we can save the woman down. Lord, I thank you for making it to 2018. Lord, I thank you that in the midst of making it to 2018, 2017, 
Although it was bad, it was reasonably a peaceful year. Let there be peace and prosperity in 2018. I'll Freedom March with Rodney Monker will be right back after this. This is Freedom March with Rodney Monker. Welcome back to Freedom March, broadcasting live on ILTV Studios here in Nassau, Bahamas. My name is Rodney Monker. I need to read a small scriptural voice taking from the Catholic Church, the Eucharist, celebrating the Eucharist. I think I should start the New Year's off correctly. Well, O oh God, who found the salvation of the human race on the incarnation of your word, give your people the mercy they implore, so that all may know there is no other name to be invoked but the name of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Well, folks, I want you to know I miss you. Honestly, I miss the people them. I've been to John Canoe. John Canoe, as you know, I have a group. We rush. We rush Boxing Day and we rush New Year's Day. And let me tell you, I was so excited, even though I was wearing my costume. It appeared that the people them, particularly the woman them, recognized me when I arrived with my group on Bay Street. And I was so happy. This has been a wonderful Christmas for me and a wonderful New Year's as the people them saluted me and said good things to me. I do recall at one point, as I had left Bay Street, heading back to our Junkanoo group, I saw in the distance a number of Negro males dressed in their costumes. As I approached them, I said to them, young men, I need to take a photograph. And I was so excited when about 30 of the young men shouted out to me and said, Mon could take our picture for we are one of the man them. And it was powerful as I took the photograph. And as I moved along Bay Street and Shirley Street and around the Capitol, I have great hope and expectation for this nation the Bahamas, notwithstanding the fact that we have many social problems, there are thousands of young people, thousands of young men and women who are committed to the rule of law, who are committed to hard work and industry, who are committed to building a peaceful nation here in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. And that gives me such great hope that all is not lost, and notwithstanding political differences, social differences, and other social issues which will arise in 2018, there is blessed hope for our nation. And I'm so happy as a senior citizen that there are thousands of young people, young men, young women, who offer this nation great hope. And I thank God that we have a nation where hope is given a chance by virtue of the conduct and behavior of responsible young people. So it was excited. I want to thank one of the women them, Sister Cooper, Nora, who lives on the eastern part of the island, who was kind enough to extend a Christmas invitation to myself. And my goodness, I spent Christmas with her, and because my wife 
she left the island. And listen to me. The woman them took care of me. Sister Nora Cooper and Mr. Cooper, I want to thank you publicly. And then I had a great surprise at that wonderful feast when a woman whom I constantly hear about by the name of Dot Landis Starr, she was there. And as I walk in to the front room, I heard a voice shout it. I am one of the woman them, and behold my leader. And my God, when I heard that voice, I said, who is this woman who has accepted me as leader of the woman them? And she said, Mr. Monka, my name is Dot Landestar. I am from Great Exuma. I am one of the woman them, and you are my leader. And I said to her, oh, Sister Star, behold your leader. And she rise, came forth, and she squeezed me and hugged me like I've not been hugged in a long time. So Sister Dot Star, it was an honor meeting you and also meeting the Negro man who came along with you, Brother Williamson. So I had a wonderful Christmas. Wonderful Christmas. The people were kind everywhere I went. Just kindness. And as I move about, I recognize that our people are ready for social and political changes. And it is my hope, true God, that I should be able to continue to make a meaningful contribution. As it stands now, the majority of the woman them are with me and they have accepted my leadership and as leader of the woman them I'm going to be telling you some things that liberals will not like I'm gonna tell you if your gown tail too short because I's your leader and I could say that to the woman them because I am leader of the woman them and I've declared 2018 the year of the woman them and the year of the man them, and the year of the children them. And I expect that we shall make sure that the woman is treated with dignity. And we're going to challenge anyone who come forward with lies and propaganda. And I ask the woman them to work with me in turning back the forces of evil. We gonna have to do it because over the last couple of days we saw all kinds of misinformation taking place and we need a strong people we need women the senior woman them who understand the role of a wife not only as a wife and a mother but as a lover and we want them women to stand up against these strange women who will come advocating international position and the woman them must stand up and resist them you have to because this is a spiritual battle taking taking place in 2018 and the devil is a loose and we are going to see that many of the concepts and principles and ideas that we have held for hundreds of years will be shaken to its very foundation and if you are not strong and serving Jehovah God in these last days you will be smite so we have to resist them we have to there are some people that we gonna have to attack we must not attack them in a hateful manner but we have to attack them so over the next couple of days, there's so many things that we must deal with. So I just thought, once again, I thank all the people there who have been faithfully listening to Freedom March. So having said that, for the last three days, I have had a mental rise. I've been in the clouds walking in the clouds and seeing things.
the difference between me, a 61-year-old Negro man, is I am not intimidated or embarrassed and or afraid to say, I've been in the crowds. I've seen things. I see Candia Dames for 2018. She is dressed like a bride. Candia, this is the year that I expect that Candia will be married. I also see the groom. I can't see his face. He's about six feet one. He's a Negro male. He's wearing a wonderful coat suit. But as I sit in the clouds, sometimes standing in the clouds, sometimes walking in the clouds, I cannot identify his identity. But I'm working on it. And who knows, by the time I come to the ground, I shall tell you who I think this bride groom will be. And listen to me, anyone that can dear Marit will be blessed for she is a wonderful, wonderful woman. In the clouds, I see the island of Grand Bahama and the economic conditions that Grand Bahama are faced with. But there is great hope for Grand Bahama in 2018. I see great hope for the economy of Grand Bahama. But the people of Grand Bahama must continue to press forward and they must keep their members of parliament under political duress. By that I mean there must be critical support. What is critical support? If you don't see your MP, you try and find him. You watch his policies and you criticize him and you make suggestions. And for Freeport Grand Bahama, this is the year for marching and demonstrating because our government, the free national movement, has had its grace period. It's ended. And so it is time for the people. The people has to agitate. You've got to agitate. And if Grand Bahama remains quiet, well, you will be ignored. So you can't remain quiet because 2018 is the year of the people there. And Grand Bahama must be at the economic table. And then, of course, as you are aware, today is the 3rd of January. And in seven days' time, thousands of us will celebrate majority rule. And I expect to have a number of young political activists from the opposition Progressive Liberal Party. And they better start calling me because seven days to go. And I want the people them to be mobilized so we can march on this great 51st anniversary of majority rule. All the people them gotta march. So I expect that the free national movement will support the FNM. Well, let me say it again. I expect that the free national movement will support the PLP in this march. Because this march is the march for the majority. And that's what it is. It's majority rule. And so we may have to go one more time on this Rocky Burma Road because, as you know, it's our time. So I expect PLPs to come. And this is the year that I shall open up the studio to the FNM. and There's an FNM chairman that I'd like to come on the show. The chairman of the FNM, Carl Kalmer. I know him when he was a young, young boy. I'd like to see whether or not he has any idea as to where the FNM as a government is going. But Wednesday, January 10th, is a wonderful day in the history of the modern Bahamas. It will be 51 years since black 
majority rule. And black majority rule in 1967 came about because of a Negro man and a Conky Joe man who came together and joined forces with the FNF, with the PLP, who joined forces with the Progressive Liberal Party, with Pending and the PLP, the late Sir Randall Fox and the late Alvin Al Brennan. And that is how we were able to achieve majority rule. And I expect on this march, I expect to see more Conky Joe people. In fact, I say, bring a Conky Joe person with you and encourage them. I got two Conky Joe people that I want to bring to the march. So these are some of the things that are taking place. And when I return, I shall tell you some more forecasts, things that I see. I mean, I can't get candy out of my mind. Such a wonderful wedding gown. Will Candia be taken to the church on time in the year 2018? I don't know, but I see her in the clouds and she looks charming. And from what I could see, Candia, who is a great journalist at the Nassau Guardian, she can cook. I am advised from the clouds. Candia could cook, she can bake, and Candia, you can't let 2018 pass unless you go to the church on time. So we got to marry her off. And I see, the, I see the groom. I see him. Tall, charming, Negro man. He's ready to take Candia to the church on time. Time. I mean, it's wonderful the things I see. I mean, I see tanks. Seeing tanks in the clouds is this candy a year. Goodness me, what a charming bride she will make. So, there are some of the things that are taking place. And then, when I come, I'm going to look at some of the colonial honors that has been given. There are a number of Negro citizens who has been honored by Her Majesty the Queen. And when I come back, I'm going to tell you about a Negro citizen who is more deserving of his honor than any of the other Negro people. Tell you about it. Oh, I'm going to tell you about a citizen who is deserving of this honor. And listen to me, I is cut things straight. I is cut things straight. This is Freedom Match. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year 2018. It is the year of the woman them. Freedom March with Rodney Monker will be right back after this. The thoughts, views, and comments expressed by Rodney Monker, his guests, callers, and advisors on Freedom March are not necessarily those of the management, ownership, or production unit of ILS, the Verizon Media Group. Freedom March is a production of ILTV Studios and cannot be reproduced or represented in part or entirety without the express written consent of the Verizon Media Group. Freedom March is the intellectual property of the Verizon Media Group. Copyright 2017. All rights are reserved. Welcome back to Freedom March, broadcasting live on ILTV Studios here in Nassau, Bahamas. My name is Rodney Monka, but praise the Lord, my spiritual advisor, Bradley Roll, has made it straight to 20. 18. 2018. My spiritual advisor, welcome to Freedom Mart. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Monk. It's a brand new year, 2018. I'm thanking God, uh, first and foremost, for allowing me to see another year, Mr. Monk. Uh, we're hoping for brighter things, better things, a better country, uh, better governance, uh, a bright future for the Bahamas. Uh, what do you say? My spiritual advisor, I am with you because 2018, I have declared to be the year 
of the woman them, and the year of the man them, the children them, and the family them. So 2018 will be great, and 2018 will be a great year for Freeport Grand Bahama. Oh yeah, They're the things definitely. that I'm seeing in the cloud. Definitely. But listen, it can be changed. Subject to incompetency on the part of the FNM. But if the FNM does not remain incompetent, great things will happen for Freeport Grand Bahama. So Absolutely. my spiritual advisor, I know Absolutely. the holidays were wonderful. What were you up to? Uh, not, because I have much. reports from the woman them. They told me <laughs> they saw you up and down celebrating and enjoying yourself during the holidays. Well, Mr. Monka, I don't know if it'll be up and down celebrating, but I did um, spend some time at the uh, Boxing Day celebrations on downtown, the, okay. the John Canoe, um, looking at the various um, um, groups uh, participating in the in that event. Uh, I did spend some time at the New Year's uh, uh, John Canoe Parade as well. Uh, spent some time with some family members, some friends, uh, and, and did some work. But um, other than that, nothing spectacular. I tried to enjoy whatever it was uh, to the best of my ability. Well, this is powerful. So you did attend John Canoe, my spiritual yes, advisor. Yes, I, I did attend John Canoe on both um, celebrations, the Boxing Day and, of course, the New Year's celebration as well. Were you disappointed that the Negroes, under the Free National Movement, did not appear to be able to properly manage Junkano? Well, there were some concerns, I mean, about the amount of time it took for certain groups to um, get into Bay Street, uh, do the 90 minute um, performance that they're supposed to do uh, throughout uh, Rosson Square. Um, I think there were some who say that, um, that Jeff Lloyd did a much, much better job. I think it was in 2015 when he headed the uh, the John Canoe um, celebrations and, and um, um, organizing it. Uh, I think that was missed. Um, whatever may have gone wrong, I didn't get into all the details of that, but yeah, there was some Well, we some had hitches. somebody who was more substantive this year in the management of the John Canoe, and that would and be that? the minister responsible for John Canoe. What is his culture. name? Is that um, uh, youth sports and culture? The Negro gentleman. Yeah. Michael. Michael Pintard. Michael Pintard. And yes. it appeared that he fucks it up. Oh. First of all, the Negroes. They decided that they are going to protect where it can rain. They went up, they look up in the cloud and they said it was going to rain. Mm. Oh. Meanwhile, there was no cloud. And I decided I couldn't trust them. So I turned to the United States radio and TV. And the Americans say there ain't going to be no rain over here. Yet, they continue. So I concluded, it could only be because Michael Pintard, the minister, mightn't want to go to John Canoe on Boxing Day. Somebody in the FNM didn't want John Canoe. And then they decide that they were going to lie on Mr. Dane's son and say that Mr. Dane's son predicted rain. Right? Okay. You know Mr. Dane's son? But, but in all fairness to Basil Dane, I think what happened is um, the, the weatherman did in fact give an, a clearance for... He the, is the weatherman. Yeah, Basil Dane. Yeah. Yeah, but he did, he did give clearance for the junk to start at a particular time, but I think it was the junk committee who made the decision not to. But aren't they um, politically... I, I didn't understand what the circumstances was, but were, but they decided they were going to delay the parade. I don't know. Maybe a group was not prepared. I don't know. I can't say. But for whatever reason, they did it. Um, you can't blame Basil Dane for that. I'm because, not blaming Basil okay. Dane. Okay. All right. I, I'm not blaming Basil Dane. Okay. I'm saying that the minister, Michael Pintard, his first John Canoe failed. Mm. You see, in our system of government, mm -hmm. the politician takes responsibility okay. mm -hmm. even when it is his incompetence. <laughs> you see? Because Michael Pintard has some incompetence. His first incompetence is the John Canoe Committee. That's his incompetence. Michael ought to have known. So who has the John Canoe Committee? Whoever it is, 
Michael incompetence. You follow? First of all, Michael knows that in Bohemian politics, unless the politician manage it, it won't happen. Mm. He was supposed to say to them, listen, you got to have Junkano. You see, there was a Junkano event when the late minister responsible for Junkano was contemplating whether or not Junkano should be canceled. Who was the late minister, my spiritual advisor? Um... Uh. You know, I'm not good at these names. He's uh, a Maynard. Uh, oh, that's Charles Maynard. Charles Maynard. Charles Maynard. Yeah. And when they were pressuring Charles Maynard to cancel Junkano, Charles knew he had a leader who was culturally gifted and blessed. Hubert Alexander Ingram, Charlie Maynard, standing under one Klingham, grab his cell phone <laughs> and call Papa. Because while Papa does not do Junkano, Papa is a Junkano expert. And when Charlie Maynard called Papa, talking about canceling, Papa told him, now listen to me, Papa didn't tell me this. You know I see things, I hear things, and I know things. Papa told Charlie, listen, I don't care what you do, but Junkano in your belly! And we all went to Junkano. <coughs> Excuse me. And we rushed. And even if it did rain, nobody remembered. All right? That is the difference between Hubert Alexander Ingram being overall cultural chief as opposed to the prime minister who rushes from the back. He stood right there and just allowed them to sabotage the Junkano. That's what they did, all right? As a result of that, my Junkanoo group ran into problems. I had my men line up for Boxing Day, and the next thing I know, incompetency, inefficiency on the part of the ministry responsible for culture caused my men them to disappear. And it wasn't no rain. Come on, if you look up in the clouds, if you look up in the sky, and you ain't seen no cloud. You ain't seen no rain. You ain't seen no... And all you see is sun. You go to Bay Street. I mean, I can't trust Michael Pintard to get John Kuno right. Oh, boy. It's just amazing. Just amazing. But thank God, the following day was great. When we went out. I had a wonderful time. And then, of course, I was very disappointed about New Year's Day. Where the people them? I got to Bay Street. I could hardly find anyone. And I was upset because I came to rush and to hang murderers in effigy. And there was hardly anybody. So I asked myself, <laughs> are we getting money's worth? Because it cannot be fair for the government to be sponsoring John Canoe, and then the John Canoe groups don't come out. Huh? What this is? You all think this is armed robbery, eh? I want the FNM to stop it. You tell them, come to Bay Street when you get the seed money. Other than that, the next John Canoe, we won't give you the seed money until you show up on Bay Street. That's how I see it. I want to take this opportunity to welcome to the island of New Providence, Richard George Young and his charming, charming wife, Mrs. Virus Adasa Young. They both live in Harbor Island and Mr. Young is one of the man them and his wife, a faithful woman, has submitted to his leadership and she has accepted me as leader of the woman them. So I welcome them. Richard George Young and Mrs. Iris Adassa Young. Y'all are one of the people them. So my spiritual advisor, that was the fallacy yes, of Duncan. A lot of people complain and about it. Yeah. It is a cultural indictment of the new minister responsible for 
culture. Michael Pentard. Come, Michael. I used to have you in the bush. All them years I spent with you in the back of the bush. I, I, I taught John Canoe was natural to you. Other than that, I would have taught you how to organize it. All right, so maybe this year we'll get it right. 2018. Get it right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we give Michael another of chance? Of course. Everybody, sure? everybody deserves a chance, man. And everybody the, and deserves a chance. And the thing about chance. it is when I got to Bay Street right, on New Year's, do you know he refused to look at my group? Really? Man, Michael, you hate my feelings, man. <laughs> Why, you all something? When I got... The Bush there, Warriors. The Bush, Bush Warriors. Warriors. Yeah. Right? One of the young people say, say, Michael, there, he grabbed his phone and he's looking down. I say, he ain't looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> but Michael, you all, you, all, you all hateful, man. You all don't like me. My God, I come to Bay Street and you refuse to look at me. Oh, boy. <laughs> but anyway, I can give you a second chance. Yes, yeah, we get all it right. right. We get it right. I don't know. Interesting, though. Well, my spiritual advisor, Dr. Menace, has issued a number of British awards to a number of distinguished Negro citizens. Okay. I can't recall. You know who they are? Well, I, I, I know one. Are they in the papers today? They were in the papers yesterday. Oh, yesterday. But the studio, I don't know what they did with my yesterday paper. Okay. But today, one of the prints in the Anglican Church has issued a statement. Yeah, he wants them to reject them. He wants them <laughs> to reject it. And I think... What's his reason for that? Well, let's I look. Is that Sebastian Campbell? This is Father Sebastian Campbell. He's a great man. I wish Sebastian to hear Campbell. Okay. what he has to say. So I'm going to look at today's Nassau Guardian. Campbell urges Patterson offer <laughs> others to reject honor from the Queen. But I, to start off with, I'm opposed to that. Her Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II, by the grace of God, is queen of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. And this is the constitution of the Bahamas. All right? And I call on people not to be disrespectful to our sovereign lady, the queen. She is the queen of the Bahamas. And so before I put the case, I shall go to the Bahamas Independence Order 1973 because I want no one to be insulting the Queen okay because I could carry on and I'll have the case y'all out I don't want y'all to do that so we'll go to see what the, the Constitution says all right but let me see if I can find it because sometimes I can't find these things Y'all put me on the spot, and y'all are causing me to, you know. So let me see if I can find it. Yes, yes, I think I found it. No, I've not found it. Let's go ahead. Anyway, since I cannot find it, I'll tell you what it says. The Constitution of the Bahamas says that the Parliament shall comprise of Her Majesty, the Senate, and the House of Assembly. That's the Parliament. The queen is the head of state, and in her absence, Dame Margaret Pinling, the governor general, acts for her. I don't want father who is a priest in the queen's church. The Anglican church, from the time King Henry VIII was excommunicated, if my history is correct, by the Roman Catholic church, if my history is correct, the Anglican broke away and they formed their own church and the sovereign is head of the church. So in the case of the Anglican church, Queen Elizabeth II, by the grace of God, Queen of the Bahamas, is queen and head of state and head of church. Now her priest does not want us to accept her honor. So, Father Campbell, urging those named on the Queen 2018 New Year's Honor List to decline 
the British Honor, Chairman of the National Heroes Committee, Father Sebastian Campbell, call on the government to instead honor these men and women with national honors. Campbell, rector of St. Gregory's Anglican Church, who has advocated for the abolition of the colonial honors for two decades, said the Queen honors be little the service and contribution of the men and women named among others when asked about the government house announcement of the Queen's honor. Campbell said, to be quite blunt with you, we are angry about it. The British honor system has several orders, most of which relate to the monarch, military, and colonial officials. To the government, Campbell continue, take them into the national awards and give them the highest honor, and they will be held in even higher esteem. You are really belittling them by giving them an inferior honor. If we were to uphold that the national awards are the highest awards in the country, so they are doing them a disservice. Well, that is what Father is saying. Now, there are a number of Negro people who have been given this award. Among those is notice dentist, Dr. Nigel Lewis. I have to make a confession. Dr. Nigel Lewis is my maternal first cousin. He's my ma sister son. So, if I say anything good about him, you would understand that I have declared an interest. I believe that my first cousin, Dr. Nigel Lewis, deserve his award. While I note that the government has announced that this award has been bestowed upon him for his contribution to dentistry, I shall take due note of what the government say. But certainly I know that the government does not know my first cousin. I believe that God has blessed him with this honor because of the kind of man he is. He's a firmly oriented man. I've never met a man who loves father and mother the way he does. In fact, I was so bold and daring one day as I discussed his late father with him prior to his father's death. And I accused him. Boy, I could take some risks. I said, Dr. Lewis, it appears to me that you do not want your daddy to die. And he looked at me for a second, must have said in his heart, this is my cousin. He said, I do not want my father to die. And something said to me, pull back, because I was about to push him some more. So I think that this honor has been bestowed upon him because of the way he has admirably treated his parents, his father, his mother. Man, he has a love for his parents. Only me could have run on and get away with it. When I said to him, Nigel Lewis, Dr. Lewis, you look to me like you don't want your daddy to die. And he looked at me for a second and he said, I do not want my father to die. I think they had just arrived from a wonderful fishing trip off Andrus. So listen, I don't know why the rest of them get an honor, but I think that the government should have said that we bestow this honor upon Nigel Lewis for his unflinching love for father and mother. Boy, if there was a man who honored his father and his mother's that his days may be long, is Dr. Nigel Lewis, my first cousin. Isn't that powerful? I confess. I don't know who the rest of them other Negroes are, but Dr. Lewis, I think he publicly deserves it. 
And I say, I confirm it, for his contribution to what children should do. Honor their father and their mother and to love them and to take care of them unceasingly and to do everything that is economically possible to ensure a good life. Money love his parents? Take it from me. I know the family secret. He does. My spiritual advisor, do you wish to comment no, no, on no. some of these honors? No, not at all, man. This not is powerful, not my spiritual advisor. Well, this morning, I, for the New Year's, you know, we have a breakfast club. So I had not gone on day one and day two. But day three, I went. Where my colleague, Oswald Greenslade, Oswald Greenslade, is the nation primary mixologist. Man, he know how to mix a drink. He's even written a book. This is his book. All right? And I'm trying. Every time I hear a local citizen write a book, I'm trying to add it to my library. The only book I ain't get yet is Mother Pratt book. I wonder when Mother Pratt can invite me so I could Buy one from her for half price. Well, this is Green Slate. He went to China. You hear me? Went to China and participated internationally in mixing drinks. Guess who went? Our own Bohemian Green Slate, Osmond Green Slate. And every Bohemian should get one of these books. Cocktail, one more cocktail, a guide to making Bohemian cocktails. Not only is Greenslade extremely gifted as a mixiologist, he has lectured in mixiology and making Bohemian rum. And listen to me, I am told that when he knock up a cock, cock, what do I do? Tail, is it? A cocktail or a concoction. Listen, there is no cocktail like the cocktails that Green Slate is able to make. Listen, y'all should get one of these books and put it to your library. You hear me? All kind of drinks. He got one called Delaport Point, Delightful Dasher, Deep Creek, Deep Blue Sea, Day Dan Nejo. Deja vu, <laughs> Diana's cocktail. He even got one called Devil's Tail, Diamond Forever, and even Dick's Point. Every citizen should get one of these books. You hear me? And guess how much he sell it for? Sixty, thirty-five dollars. That's how much he sell this for. All right. Anyway, I don't know his. Telephone number, but you all know my cell number. It's four three four five seven six zero, and I think we all should buy, and we should always support Bahamians when they write book. I got one today, and when I said to him, "Boy, I can promote this," I have Mr. Greenslade number. You have Mr. Greenslade number? Yes. Say it quickly, my spiritual yeah, the advisor. Number to reach Oswald Greenslade. One more cocktail is four two five. Two two six four. That's uh, four two five two two six four for that book. One more cocktail. Let's Can you this, imagine right? it? One, One more, cocktail. more cocktail. Wow. That's four powerful. two five four two five two yeah. two six four. Four two five two two six four. Now, Mother Pratt, I am publicly, you know, I can paint that something, Mother Pratt. I need a copy of your book to be on my collection. But one more cocktail, and we're going to need lots of cocktail as we struggle against some of the social injustices, right? Um, you know what some of them are. One more cocktail. Listen, Oswald Greenslade, call his cell number, my spiritual advisor. You hear me? This mic is off. 425-2264. That's 425-2264. Oswald Greenslade. 
one of the greatest mixiologists went to China, didn't take a brush, but he won with a bohemian cock. Freedom March with Rodney Monker will be right back after this. This is Freedom March with Rodney Monker. Welcome back to Freedom March, broadcasting live on ILTV Studios here in Nassau, Bahamas. My name is Rodney Monker. And for those of you who are just joining me, well, my spiritual advisor Bradley Rule is here. Bradley, how are you? I'm doing great, Mr. Monker. And I extend a happy, happy new year to those of you around the Bahamas who has just joined me. This is our first day to work. We should have come to work yesterday, but you know how the Negroes go. <laughs> they could sell a bread. But I've been frustrated, right? I wanted to come to work every day because I believe that everybody should work, all right? And there's so many topics. I've decided I'm not going to touch them. Not today, right? They got, they're still talking about raping your wife. And so what I've been doing, I said, well, since they're talking about raping wife, I shall start reading the war's proceeding. So I could see who all may have been guilty, if ever. Because in the law, and you may not be aware, I have a liking for the law. And every now and then, when they run on, I just go up in the Supreme Court, get them all book, and sit back and read things because that is the only way I can inform people about the level of hypocrisy in this country. People who are talking about rape, but their hands ain't clean. But they're talking about who raping who. And they, their hands ain't clean, you know. And I ain't talking about only man now, you know. I'm talking about woman. I don't want to say what one woman put in the letter, you see, in the Bahamas, when you divorce, you got discretionary letter. You know, it's a letter that is on the file, but technically it's not. Because the affidavit is inserted in the letter and placed there. And, you know, sometimes I, I, I just don't know. All right? Because sometimes I'm called upon to do costly search. And when I see how they describe some of the sins and some of the sex. I didn't know people could do sex that way. Even though I'm 61. I didn't know. All right? I didn't know. And then, sometimes when I read to see who did it, I just can't believe they knew them kind of thing. <laughs> and then, my colleagues just say to me, why are you acting Stupid. And I said, listen, I'm being honest. I didn't know people could do it <laughs> like that. All kind of funny things. All right? So, that's why I don't want to get into this <laughs> debate. Because I've, done it. I've been doing costless search for over 30 odd years. <laughs> and when you do costless search over 30 odd years, you just come up with all kind of things. All right? All kind of information. And I'm 61. So if you miss and say something, and I do that, I remember. All right? And that's why I'm trying to stay out of this nasty debate. All right? Because many of the people who are debating, they're not safe. These are not safe people. They're not sanctified. But I call on young people, because let us not forget this new topic that has arisen last year when a representative from the UN came and said in a rape law in marriage. So something is wrong. Remember, I've said it consistently on the question of sex and marriage. It's for young people. Sex and marriage is for young people. All people should not, one, have sex. Two, should leave that for young people. So, it is the young people marital castle, their bedroom, which is challenge. At my age, I all. But sex 
in marriage is for young people because sex fundamentally is for procreation, having children and lots of children. And so over the holidays, I went into reflection to look at the various people who are advancing these arguments so I could determine how to respond to it. I call on young people to recognize that sex in marriage is for young people. I 61. It's for young people. Young people by nature are sexy. They are sex machine. They have no control over it. That's the way God made them for the purpose of procreation. Now, there is a strange force that is attempting to enter your bedroom. I thank God that when I was young, 30 years ago, we didn't know about them. They didn't interfere with us. So we were able to enjoy our sacred relationships. Now today, it's nasty. The debate is nasty. It's a bunch of nasty people. Don't mind they using cute words. They are nasty. Take it from me. I'm 61. They're nasty. And it's a new threat to undermine the morality of the country. And it must be resisted by the women in the church. The sisters in the church, you understand the politics of marriage. You understand human sexuality. You understand the beast sexually in your husband. You understand it. And the marriage survived. But now, we have people who are unsaved. They have come forward to undermine your marriage. And watch who the people are. These are not young people who have the gift to enjoy sex. These are all people who time for sex has transpired. You heard me? Listen to me. Watch them from now on. When somebody come forward and they talk about rape, check the age. These are all people. Sex ain't for them no more. They should go home and mind their grandchildren. That's what it is. Sex is for young people, not old people. Old people should leave sex alone for young people. And young people should get married, have lots of sex, lots of baby, work hard, and mind them. You hear me? Just check it. If you name them, ain't no more sex for them. They're no longer sexy. I knew when they were sexy because I'm 61. Many of them were older than I, but I remember them as being sexy. They had good shape. They could walk and bounce. But today, they are possessed by the devil and we must take them on. And that is why I believe that I serve a purpose here on TV by challenging what they say because they ain't too much older than me and I know all kinds of stories many of these women they cause frustration some of them were told don't marry that man he's a sissy they were told it but they think they could change sissy man then next thing you know they left frustrated sometimes they got divorced I tell you, not a lie. And in the divorce, another man ran off with their husband. Then they get mad. They didn't listen to the daddy. I know a girl who daddy told her not to marry the man. She ain't listen. Daddy, you want me for you with a no good self. When your daddy tell you don't marry one man, why you want to say he want it for you? Then when you have your problems, you won't curse the world. Any man who tells his daughter not to marry a man, listen to your pa. Listen to your pa. You only want to listen. You all think you're all smarter. All right? So there's a lot of frustration. And then there's a lot of lies taking place. A lot of twisting of the facts. They talk about rape. In marriage but they bring people who are married 
in the equation. But they don't want to hear our sides of the story. But I know them. Take it from me. If I tell you I know them, I know them. And if I've forgotten, I go back to the Supreme Court, where the British, when they run these islands, ensure that the books and the records remain intact. I was looking at a divorce that took place just before World War II ended. You hear me? 1945. 71 years ago, I think it is. 45 to now, my spiritual advisor, is that 75? Is that 70 <coughs> years? What year is that? 1945 to 2018. How much years is that? Let me check. Just right looking now. at it. And when I turned to that page, I didn't know. If you saw why Mr. Mann was beating his wife. 72 years. Uh, 72 years ago. Yeah. If you saw why he was beating her all in the divorce, I, 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 I was embarrassed because I didn't know. They was doing them kind of things. And I got the record. See, when the debate start, I'd like to produce the record. So I could ask Sandra, in 1945, when Mr. Lowe beat Mrs. Lowe, what you think about that? 1945. Yeah. I had to go to find it to determine if Mrs. Lowe had a right to the man estate, but she had no right because Mr. Lowe got rid of her just before World War II ended in 1945. Can you imagine doing World War II? The suffering that that man went through a whole world war. And the woman scheming on him. Huh? There was no need for her to do that. But Sandra, they ain't prepared to talk about that. They ain't prepared to talk about that. But praise the Lord, the British left the record. And I have the record. So I could show it to the young people. And show the young people that sin was going on during World War II. That is powerful for my spiritual advisor. 1945. 1945. Right? <clears throat> And when the English judge was confronted by the sins in the marriage, he immediately issued a bill of divorce. But Sandra and them don't want to talk that. They will hide that record. But Sandra, the people have a right to know that during World War II, man, they did more things, all kinds of sins, was taking place here in Nassau. During World War II, there the British was trying to save us, and y'all who were left here in the islands, y'all were just doing a bunch of sinful things. And it's amazing. They're going to cost me to bring these things up because I have to stand up against them and ask the UN if they taught Mrs. Lowe in 1945 should have done to Mr. Lowe. I don't know. What you think, my spiritual hmm. advisor? Why are you speaking in codes, man? You gotta say exactly. <laughs> what do you mean I'm speaking in code? <laughs> huh? Ah, uh, boy, this this the, the, marital the, rape thing would not let down. It's eh? the devil. What's going on? It with is this, an man? assault on the family. Mm. Do you know what it means? Then you go to the bed, and the woman says to her husband, Are you trying to rape me? Can you imagine, do you know, do we have the picture here of Big Jew? My, my producers don't listen to me. Listen, I can tell Sebastian, y'all don't listen to me. Y'all know Big Jew? Members of the public, Big Jew is about six feet five. He weighs about 400 pounds. He's one of the greatest CID officers in the country. When you are now able to accuse your husband of rape. Who you think they can send for you? Big Jew. And when Big Jew show up, 
I know him. I saw him lock up about 300 people in 1990 when CID was at chapter one. And Big Joe stood up outside the entrance of CID. You may not believe me, but I'll never lie on the police. Big Joe say, all those who is Saxon go to the right. And all the Saxon went to the right. And he say, all them who is rushed for the valley go to the left. And in 1990, Christmas box, Christmas night, Big Joe lock up all the Saxon and all the valley he allowed to go free. <laughs> And when asked why, he said he was suspicious of the valley and he was doing an investigation. This is true. But that same Big Joe is still working as a policeman. Can you imagine when he start arresting married men and accusing them of raping their wives? And I don't want Big Joe to sue me, but I have a gut instinct that while the other police are not looking, Big Joe could end up slapping you and say, gone, just rape your wife. Imagine you saying to Big Joe, Big Joe, don't beat me. I don't rape my wife, but this is the bull skate that we are faced with. So we have to resist it. But the young people must lead the revolution because it is y'all. It is your time for sex. It is your time for the bedroom. Married young men and women. I all now, and the most I could do is to go into the clouds and think about it. Hello, welcome to Freedom March. This is the monkey on me dying. How you doing? <laughs> what are you laughing about? Nothing, I'm nothing. I, first of all, I just want to say that I'm the first caller of 2018. Hey, so I want to make sure I put that out there. This is Maradona. Yes, it's Maradona. How the you doing, Bradley? Beautiful Maradona. How are you, honey? Yes, I'm good. I'm Everything good. okay? Maradona, Hi, happy good. new year, Maradona. Happy new thank year. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Listen, thank you. man, you, you, dis you disappeared. Um, Bradley, hold what? on. We could, we could do this on the side. I call for Mr. Monk. Okay, okay. Forgive me. Go ahead. So, um, Mr. Monk, like I have that. a question. You keep talking about how you can't do nothing now. You only keep going to clouds and all that. What age is the cut off, cut off time for intimacy? Because you keep talking about old and young. Where does it start and stop? That's deep. Well, first of all, let's start with where it starts. Where it starts. It starts with marriage. Okay. Right. Go in now and marry. And you know, then you have an answer question. Though. I'm answering I'm a question, about age, my though, Mr. Monk. I'm talking about age. Starts. Cut off now. What's Listen, the cut off age? Sex is for young people. So what is young? What young? Is young? Uh, how old are you? I'm 27. Listen, you have yeah, plenty perfect. time. Plenty time. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> I'm not talking about me in particular. I know. He says he's 61 and he's too old for that. So when did you stop? When did you get too old? Um, I really don't think you should put... I'm old enough to be your uncle. You think you okay, should Okay, not put, you. Not put, you in particular. In general, think, you keep saying... It's listen to me. Uncle. When you mm -hmm. reach that age, you do know. You can know it. Yeah. Okay. I don't think they and men know that, though. I think uh, you should put out a PSA. A PSA? I think you should give them a number. A PSA for their prostate? <laughs> Well, stop them so they can know Listen it's to time me. to stop. I want you to get married. <laughs> I want you to submit to the man. I want you to reject gender equality. Mm -hmm. And I want you to tell these women that there will be no rape in marriage and so forth. I Listen, I'm down for that. I'm just so curious to know where you start in this young and old age. Listen, um, 89. 89, which, Maradona. Which, That's the like, cutoff. 89, which, but he's saying in the clouds. He's it, in invite me to the nearest nightclub that you'll be at. <laughs> and we'll talk. How does it sound? <laughs> All right. You Happy New Year. Thank I'm, you, darling. Happy New Year, Maradona. Thank Bye. you so much for calling. Hello. Welcome to Freedom March. Hello. Hello. You're the second woman to call me in the New Year. How are you? I'm doing fine, Mr. Monker. Oh, this is I, powerful. I was, I was watching your broadcast this morning, and I know it's a rebroadcast, but I just wanted to inform you, the guy that was on that said there was only one royal bank on Eleuthera, uh, that was Harbor Island. Right. But, um, no, there is another bank in Governor's Harbor. Really? Oh, okay. Yes. And is it currently open? It's been open for a while. 
Well, listen, I thank you for correcting me. Whenever you hear misinformation, either coming from me or callers, you are to correct me. How does that sound? Thank you. Have a happy new year. Okay? Have a good day. Can I speak you to too. spiritual advisor? Yes, uh, good up. Happy new year, man. How you doing? Happy new year, spiritual advisor. And yes. to Mr. Malka. Yes. But I would like for you to explain this from the scriptures, mm -hmm. what he's saying, because it's absolutely false about this stuff, this woman and man. About absolutely false. There's no way in the scriptures that says anything that I know of. If you know, would you tell me, please? About what? What is it? I, I, I didn't hear you. Go ahead. He says uh, there's an age uh, 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 after you married, there's an age to stop. I don't know if he said it was... Make it up. Yes, yeah, you're it, not it, supposed it, to have, have sex after you get a certain age. Well, that's can you find that and give us a... No, it ain't in the scripture. For, it's not in the that, scriptures. I want everything Listen, backed up by... We're going to answer you. Yeah, it's not in the scriptures. Happy that's, his New year. that's his personal opinion. Happy it's not New Year. shouldn't be running on with that. Listen to me. Happy New Year <laughs> and Happy New Year to your prostate. Take it care. Right, because he's still enjoying. Hello. Welcome to Freedom Arts. You understand his My point, spiritual right? advisor. I don't want to get bogged down <laughs> in those things. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Monk. How are you doing? Listen, I am fine. Happy New Year to you. What great joy have you bring to me? Hello? Hello, Mr. Manka. How are you doing? I am fine. Speak to me. Listen, Mr. Manka. Yes. World War II and 1943. No, not 45, 43, because my father was in World War II. Okay. And that was the same time I I born 43. 1943, and I am 74 years of old, well, not 45. Well, let me ask you a question. What year was your father in World War II? He, he came out in 1943. Okay. Let me check on my history. All right. Uh, I could be wrong. Check, if, cause if you check, it ends at 1943. When okay. did the Japanese surrender it? Well, I can't record it out my head, but I had I had a book of it. Well, I want you to check again because they are either miseducating me. I thought they told me that World War II ended on the 11th of November, 1945. But I thank you for your correction. I shall do further research and report. How does it sound? Okay, again, Mr. Manko. Yes. When we talk about sex for old people, right? Right. Sex is for anybody who wanted. I am 73 years old. I am 74 years old. And I'm going to have my sex until I die. Old or young. Are you married? Sex or sex, I can sex till I die. Are you married? Thank you. Is she married? Mm. Hello, anybody else on the show? Goodness me. World War Two. When? Hello, welcome to Freedom hey. March. Hey, Mr. Manka, how are you doing, sir? Listen, Happy New Year. What's on your mind? Um, happy New Year to you, um, spiritual advisor. Yes, Happy New Year to you too, man. All the um, best, 2018. You were talking about um, um, Michael Pintad um, uh, trying to boycott Junkanoo. Go ahead. I'm listening to you. I, I, I can't sure relate, could relate to that because, you know, during Junkanoo, him and I'm one of the, the hosts she was talking to him, and he was saying to her that um, about um, um, the marital rape. T turn you take that. that. They were discussing marital rape? Yes, he, ex he, he explained it on the radio. What he said about marital again. rape during Junker No? He was saying that, 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 it, 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 that you could rape your wife. Well, and it's, it's wrong. Don't listen to him because well, he's never been married. I don't married, know if you got married sense. Married, that's what he was saying, and, and, and that's, that's, that's wrong. Yeah. Don't listen to and, Michael. And not only that, yeah. the, the, the Junkanoo, I think he, they did boycott that because, you know, um, as Junkanoo as Junkanoo was, we, leave, we like to leave church and go to Junkanoo New Year's. Yeah. How in the world you could start Junkanoo 6 o'clock to, to um, um, get... But that was not that was not New Year's Eve. That was Boxing Day. So he could have done no, but it. I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm just saying. He, he he also said that it's a good time and they want to look at it. Yeah, to, to start six p.m. Yeah. from one place to the next place. Anyway, we have enough time to row him out. You take good care. We're going to Junkano.
You take good care, my brother. Happy New Year to you. Same to you, sir. Okay. Michael Pentat, listen, what happened to John Goodall on Boxing Day? I'll be right back after the break as I have fun on my first day of work. This is Freedom March. My spiritual advisor. Do you have something to say to the senator? Call Freedom March at 323-7775. Toll free from anywhere in the Bahamas at 242-300-0045. Freedom March with Rodney Monter, only on ILTV. This is Freedom March with Rodney Monker. Welcome back to Freedom March, broadcasting live on ILTV Studios here in Nassau, Bahamas. My name is Rodney Monker. Praise the Lord. My spiritual advisor and I and thousands of people around the world, we made it to 2018. My spiritual advisor... There was a robbery in Black Village the other day where really? two Negro men reportedly with guns went into hurry hurry to rob. And hurry hurry, as they were exiting, lick off a couple of rounds. And in the confusion, those Negroes ran into a deep freeze, locked themselves away. And it was such a great joy for them when the police came and rescue them out, out of the, the freezer deep. yeah wow. caught in the arc, eh? so these are smart crooks if you ever find yourself in something like that it is better to run to the police and so the police rescue them yeah and now the punch reports charged. that they did not have real gun fake gun okay but i have a number of people on the telephone line and i haven't heard from the people them in a long time so mr producer if you please May I speak with the first caller? Welcome to Freedom March. Hello. Hello, my dear. How are you? Listen, I thank God that I've made it to 2018. Well, I'd like to wish you and the spiritual advisor a happy new year. Yes, yeah, same to you, ma'am. Happy new year. We thank you. However, I was uh, in Princess Margaret really? on New wow. Year's Day. Wow. Sorry to hear that. That's well, unfortunate. Were you visiting or were you in hospital? I went there to... Um, see a doctor. Okay. And I have so many complaints. I know um, your topic is not of that nature, but what? I have to state and say. Please say what it. I have experienced. I was there for ten hours. I have yet okay. to see the doctor. After ten hours? Yes. Wow. Ten hours. Okay. Uh -huh. I went in there. Um, I was in a waiting area for about three and a half hours. Wow. The rest of the time, I went in the back. Okay. And during my, you know, just sitting there in the back, I saw what I saw, and I couldn't believe what I was seeing. There was only two doctors on. Two doctors on. Which day was this? New Year's Day? This was New Year's Day. Okay. Okay. The the place was congested with everybody on gurneys. Okay. Um, the doctors, them, the two doctors that were on didn't seem to care. And the people, you know, you always had those auxiliary nurses that would come around. Yes. And they're pink and white, and they would clean up the area and stuff like that. Uh-huh. For the time that I was in the back there. You didn't see any? Not one person. What about the janitorial team? This is what I'm telling you. There was nobody there. I walked up and down because I was in pain, tired of sitting down for that length of time. Wow. And nobody, nobody came and sanitized the floor. There's no water cooler for somebody if you're sitting there for that length of time to get a, a little V cup of water. Did you Nothing. see the patient, um, what do we call them? They got some people called the patient's advocate. These are the people that you can complain to and they will put your case. Did you see any of them? No. Okay. No. How, what would you suggest? How can we improve so the Dr. Dwayne Sands will not make this mistake again? I, I, I think they need to go back to the drawing board and start all over again. Okay. Um, I noticed that there's a lot of Filipino nurses that are in there. There's not a lot of Bahamian nurses, and the Bahamian nurses that were on that shift at that time, you see them for at one point, and then they just dis disappear. So I don't know how they're going to. I'm not in the medical field or anything like that to know how they could restructure that problem. Okay. But it is terrible. It is beyond terrible. Do you know, you know how to reach your MP? My MP is 
the Minister of National Security. Marvin Dance. And I don't want to waste my time talking. Listen to me. Here. He's changing. You heard me? He and I had a Damascus meeting. I, I think you should try and reach him. Have you gone? Is, that, that, that should be reaching him. That's not the issue. The issue is that people go in there and you don't even know what the severity of their problems no, are. No, I accept your argument, mm -hmm. but I'm saying to you... Okay, that and you're sitting there and nobody takes any regard for human life from what I had seen. Yes. I was so appalled, I got up and I walked out. And I was like, there's no way. But listen to me for a second. I accept your argument. I understand your frustration. I merely say to you that for the record, I want you to talk to your MP. Let him know. Because he might be able to influence things. Well, I hope Dr. Dr. Dwayne Sands is listening okay. to your program, seeing that he is your doctor. He is my doctor. And I that, need to go to him that, for a checkup. He could try to eradicate certain things and put certain things in place. I'm going to talk because to him. from what I have seen, I mean, as simple as you're sitting there, nobody is sanitizing that A&E area. Anybody can pick up something that's sitting next to that other person, and you don't know what that person has. Okay. Listen, okay. your point is well taken. I shall, after this week... I will go back on the attack. Right now, I'm playing Christmas and New Year's. <laughs> but after that, okay, you take it care, my love. Yeah, you too. All right. Bye-bye. Hello, welcome to Freedom Match. Hello. Yes, ma'am. How are you? How are you, Mr. Monk? I miss you and the spiritual advice so much. Wow. Happy New Year. I'm calling Happy New Year. to wish both of you Happy New Year. Same this is powerful. You. I thank you. The spiritual advisor and I. Happy New Year, yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes, and I have a friend named Violet Pratt. She's 90, and she is one of the women them. She's 90? Wow. And she wants to wish you Happy New Year. Well, Violet Pratt, that I'm so excited, and that I'm very, very excited that at 90, she is willing to accept my leadership. And all I ask the woman them to do is to submit to a good man. And let's build the country. Tell Violet I love her and I yearn to meet with her yeah. in 2018. You hear me? And wherever she lives in Nassau. All right, Mr. Manka. You have a good evening, dear. We love you. God bless you. All right. All right. Lord, I thank you that in 2018, I start off with the support of the woman them. Anybody else on the next phone? Hello. Welcome to Freedom March. No, nobody's there. This is powerful. Uh, I think we got some. Tech. My spiritual advisor, the woman say World War II ended in 1943. She's mistaken. Tell her when it ended. It started in 1939. It ended in 1945. Right. Actually, 1945 is the okay. correct date. Yes. Now, um, I'm hearing things about a ship. May I see the photos of this ship, so that the people. Yes. at Prince George Wharf. And apparently, according to Negro sources, the rope popped and the boat began to shake and may have crashed against the dock and or tried to sail away. I don't know what's going on. Is it the weather? And then, of course, the controversial tug. I don't mean capital T-H-U-G, I mean, capital T-U-G. These are the thugs that the Right Honorable Hubert Alexander Ingram was very upset over when his name was linked to the ownership. And when I had breakfast with Papa, Papa complained. He said he don't like Omar saying those things about him. All right? So that is what is going on there. That boat apparently it broke loose. Eh? Broke loose. But there was some severe wet. Weather warning issued for some parts of the Bahamas, I understand. Let me see if I can Was read any this quick. for Prince George Dock? Uh, severe weather warning. The Bahamas Department of Meteorology Department has issued a severe weather warning from 3.20 p.m. Wasn't Eastern that the report, my spiritual advisor? Well, this is it. Well, here's what it says. Um, Go ahead. Um, from 3 p.m., 3.20 p.m. until 5.20 p.m. Wednesday for the North West Bahamas, including Bimini, Grand Bahama, Abaco, the Berry Islands, North Andres, Eleutra, and New Providence for the next two hours. At 3.20 p.m., surface wind 
of observations from several islands indicated winds gusting anywhere from 35 miles, 35 knots to 50 knots. Mariners and beach go mariners, sorry, and beach goers should be alert for dangerous surf as winds will continue to gust from gale to storm force. So, um, I don't know if this was issued in time. It should have been. Well, it wasn't for NASA, was it? It wasn't for Prince George's Dock. Well, it's just included, it's including, including Providence. I including New Providence? Mm -hmm. Okay, but somebody. Mm -hmm. Who in charge of the dock? I believe that the rope was popped deliberately because the FNM wants to privatize Prince George's Dock. That's what I believe. That's Freeport Harbor we saw? Yeah, because yeah, it didn't look. It didn't look. It like was not Nassau. Nassau. No, it didn't oh, look that way. I take that back. I'm it's now being told that that's, that's Freeport. Freeport. Yeah. Okay, so it happened in Freeport, folks, not in Nassau. Okay. Well, they had water, weather warning for Grand Bahama. Okay. Yes. Listen, it's Grand Bahama that it took place. Hello, Carlo. Happy New Year and welcome to Freedom March. Hi, Mr. Monka. Hey, how are you? I am. I'm fine. This is powerful. Are you one of the children them? Yes, sir. This is powerful. What's on your mind? Um, I would like to call to send a shout out. I have two things to say. Go ahead. I would like to send a shout out to my daddy, Jermaine Burroughs. Jermaine Burroughs is your daddy? Yes, sir. He ain't from Big Pony. I don't know. Okay, he sounds <laughs> so. And who else? Um, I would like to say something in reference to the deadline of the immigrants for the 31st of December. Okay, now, well, before you say it, let me do a shout out to your daddy first. Jermaine Burroughs, I have one of the children them on the phone. You is, what is your name? You is a boy or a girl? Forgive a me. girl. You a girl? Okay, I own now. <laughs> I had to tell boys or girls. Okay, Jermaine Burroughs, your daughter is saluting you now what do you wish to say about the immigrants and before you say it let me warn you i love the haitian people me too ah! go ahead talk then um why is why are they making them come of the country they don't know their roots wow this is powerful so go ahead let me hear you can you speak Haitian Creole? Yes, sir. Can you say little things in Haitian Creole? Ah, uh, merci beaucoup. Ah, vous parlez Creole bien, bien, bien. Okay, merci beaucoup. Go ahead. Um, well, why are they saying that Frankie Campbell is a Haitian? Mr. Menes don't know if he's a Haitian. Right. But they, all of them is people, they equal to us. This is powerful. Oh, you touched my heart. You touched my heart. Listen, you are a wonderful child. May God bless you. Yes, May you become sir. Prime Minister of the Bahamas. Yes, sir. And when you become Prime Minister, you and I together will save the Haitian dam, which is yes. like. Yes, sir. You take good care. I love you. You are a wonderful yeah, but, citizen. But someone should explain to okay. the young child um, my spiritual that advice when you. people enter a country illegally, that the government has a right. Did you hear what she said? To either deny. Did you hear what she said? Yeah, she said. What did she say? Well, she she mentioned that there are a lot of Haitian Bahamians who don't really know anything about Haiti. Why send them back to Haiti? And then they she know the roots. And she raised. They know the roots, though. She raised the question of citizenship. But they know the roots. And she raised the question of an esteemed member of the party, Frankie. Yeah, but some adult is feeding that child. And that, I see that's wrong. And you she know, talked that, about that. Whoever the adult is is feeding that child information. Stop that, my they spiritual advisor. Not, yeah, but stop get that. the facts. They they stop. should not poison I know that the young child's mind. Listen, I know the boroughs. You they, see where that's coming from, right? They're wonderful. Yeah, but Listen, Toad Moon, I see. You don't put up a child to do stuff for that man. That's that's not fair. Toad Moon, I see. They don't have the courage to call the show themselves. My spiritual advisor, stop it with yeah, your anti-Haitian self. I'm not anti-Haitian. Tout moun aïsye. May I speak to my people? <laughs> Tout moun aïsye. Oh, Bounani. Ah, uh, minit passe ya, yon tifi rele poudi. Pouki sa. Prime Minister. Um, sorti. Or, uh, repatriate. Am pil pe mwen yo aïsye. Tifi di. Ipakune si Frankie Campbell say I see 
Oh, monsieur ministre haïtien, but je suis content aujourd'hui parce que qui fait pour parler pour haïtien peuple yo. Bon day, venu on the TV. I think those parents were irresponsible. My spiritual well, advice is stop man. attacking parents. Those parents were irresponsible. Well, I'll tell you why. Thing. I'll tell you why. If you're going uh, to explain something to a child, make sure advisor. you do it. It is an intelligent child. Prop- yes. She's a Burroughs. Yes. The Burroughs you, have but, had but, sense yes, for but, the last 300 years. But make sure years. you explain it properly uh, my spiritual advisor you know, don't, before you die don't send don't shift the child to one side have to cut bush for us no no the no. haitian people let's let's obey the rules eh uh, you come here so legally anybody else on the phone you're processing you sent back cut this up this is the problem as you know uh, this is not haiti mr Monka. uh All my right? spiritual advisor this is not haiti what is your haiti problem? has a beautiful country and huge with over 10 million, million people man there's a lot of space there for them why you know why run us over? We only three hundred thousand, Mr. Monka. We can't afford to take any more Haitians um, on our shores, man. So matter of fact, I think I may have seen a note that says there may be a Haitian boat that run aground in the Amacraw. I don't know how true a it is. A whole boat? You know, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if the information is true. But okay. That's that's um that's what I'm getting. That's you what know? you're getting. That the Haitian boat is coming. That it Are may, you sure? So one. I can announce it. I'm not certain. That that's what I saw on social media. But that, monde, that has to be confirmed. Tout monde haïtien, spiritual advisor D. That's what I see on my phone. Tande, I, I can't confirm that now. E D, li e li, telephone, telephone D, go bateau haïtien a vini where where did they land? Uh, I just say in Yamakura. Bato Kase na Yamakura. How many people? The, the, I don't, there's no information. Avec Pebwayo. Mr. Mem. Mem. Listen, we got to stop this before Mem. we, we, we lose our country. Mem content. Parce que le mwa tande Pebwa Aisien na fini. Mwendi. Bunde. Papa Bunde. Merci. Parce que Bato a vini. Bon, bon, mm. bon. Comme ça. How's that, my spiritual advisor? Do you love my Creole? Immigration can be too icy, okay? Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> loa se loa. I papa ke papier? No. It can be tout moun. Okay. <laughs> Pas problem. <laughs> le i, le i di la le na Haiti. <laughs> Bato pare pou vini na so kunya. Uh. Uh, Folks, my spiritual <laughs> advisor is saying some things in Haitian Creole that even me. Yeah, All right, my spiritual advisor. Can be moon. Yeah. So what else is happening um, in the country? Because uh, we are warming up. Um, we've had I think a, we have some our tests. first murder was in Grand Bahama. Yes, a couple of days ago, I understand. Okay, and what happened? Haitian as far as you know? Huh? Uh, Citizen was Haitian, killed. Yeah, Haitian Bahamian. Yeah. Does it matter that it was Haitian Bahamian no, or was just, it a Bahamian? I'm just given identity. That's all. That's yeah. all. Okay. Yeah. He was murdered. Uh, yeah. Okay. But outside of that, over the last couple of days leading into the Christmas, was it significantly peaceful? Apparently so. Okay. Apparently so. Well, this um, is good. Bahamians tend to. Uh, enjoy themselves uh, in a decent way during all of this, uh, for the most part. This is Especially powerful. Christmas and, and New Year's, you know. I have a call so on was, my It was quiet, advisor. yeah. It was quiet. Yeah, it was quiet, yeah. This is powerful. Mm-hmm. Hello, welcome to Freedom March. Hi, Mr. Moncar. Yes, ma'am. How are you? Listen, I Sir, feel great. Spiritual advisor. Hi. Happy New Year. How are you? Um, I'm fine. All the best to both of you all. all. Best we you thank too. you. Uh, Mrs. Monica, one of the ladies, or the woman them, that was with you today. Um, and I'm surprised, just tuning in, I've never heard spiritual advisor speak in the Haitian tongue. Oh, he's really? better than me. My probably I'm Pilcrio. Not, not, huh? not only is he better than me, he looks more Haitian than I do. <laughs> All he need is a straw hat <laughs> and a dull cutlass <laughs> and a short blue jean pants. He thinks it so well. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And thank you for everything today here, Mr. Mon- Monker. Um, I saw you today? Yes, sir. Okay. It was the day, was it? Okay, well, I thank you for thanking me. Yeah, yeah, for being there. Okay, you're one of the women now. I am. And you have accepted my leadership. 
Okay. Listen, you are a wonderful woman, and I want you to spread it through the country. When they talk about rape and wife, you say, gone. I support Monka. And listen, of course I do. they can yeah. be upset, okay? Mm -hmm. yeah, and as your leader, if you are married, go now. Cook soup for the man and submit, okay? Okay, Mr. Monka. This is powerful. Okay, spread her back. Yes. Yeah. Happening Hello, welcome to Freedom Match. Hello? Hello. Hello, what's on your mind? Hi, Mr. Monka, happy new year. I thank you, my love, and happy new year to you and your family. Anything else on your mind? Yes. Go ahead, speak to me. Um, I'm, I missed you those few days, you and spiritual advisor. You think you missed me? <laughs> I miss you all. I didn't know Sebastian's was running this kind of operation. I thought Sebastian's philosophy is everybody got to work. Yes, I know. Yeah. But we had to play holidays, you know? But you got me now for the next... Um, 12 months if it is God's will, okay? Yes. So you take good care. Okay. And I'm happy. Are you one of the woman them? Yes. Well, let me tell you something. The PLP is celebrating majority rule, and there's no political alliance. January 10th is majority rule. I'm marching with them. I marched with them when I was in the Senate. All right? You take good care, and we okay. shall be talking about it. All right. God save the queen. Hello. God save the queen. This is powerful. Hello. Welcome to Freedom March. Speak to me. Hi. Hello. I wanted to know if you enjoyed the party at the Simonet. Listen, I enjoyed the party at the Simonet. You got to invite me to more things, man. You know, it was wonderful. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And more party. Okay. Okay. <laughs> because I love to dance. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hello, welcome to Freedom Arts. No more calls. This is powerful. I think we get a couple of texts. You now. have any texts, my spiritual yeah. advisor? Read Good some afternoon, text. Mr. Monka. I see you listen to Mr. Butler and his song. He told you sex is like wine. It gets better with age. So you better, you better sex. That is why women talking so much man, wife from, uh, uh, Mr. Monka, please get it right. Some of that nature. I can't. Understand the text. Oh, okay, my special advisor. Read text. Uh, I think that's that's it. These are old texts. For Happy New Year, Mrs. Monka, uh, from the woman them in uh, Freeport. Happy New Year, leader, Mr. Monka. You've wow. I hope you live to see many more. I am one of the woman them. This is just a bunch of old texts. Happy New Year. Hope texts. all is well next week. Would have made my grandparents. 75 years of marriage. Unfortunately, my grandmother died at 12 p.m. today's date. Wow, that's sad. That's sad. Goodness me, that's sad. Wow. Please have my sympathies, and I shall call upon you all. Good to see you, by, you guys back. Happy New Year. All the best, Mr. Monka. Rape and Weed talk show. Wow. What a way to start off the new year. Mr. Monica, can we please hear about jobs for government? Uh, spiritual advisor, it looks like the FNM is looking weak in their moves with immigration. I hope they stand firm. The countries depend on them. Mr. Monica, this is the Bahamas, not Haiti. Be fair. Okay. You're right that the country will be occupied with drugs talk, marijuana, and raping your wife. It's amazing the kind of destruction. All right? They say they have Caracom coming to talk about marijuana. Anyway, let them go ahead and talk about what they want to talk about. All right? Any more text, my spiritual advisor? No, that's just, no, that's it. Really? I think I have No more one. text, yeah. I think I have one that I might be able to read. But anybody in Freeport, have you seen my uncle Sidney Cox? If you see my uncle Sidney Cox, I haven't heard from him during the Christmas, nor have I heard from him during the New Year's. So anybody see my uncle, you say to him that his nephew wishes him a happy, happy Christmas. Am I saying it correctly? A Merry Christmas, which has already passed, and a Happy New Year. And if you see my uncle, Tell him he should give me a call. 
uncles should call nephews sometime. How does sound, my spiritual advisor? Absolutely. Good this afternoon, Mr. Monk. Happy New Year from all the women, them, and the Lutra. I thank the women, them. And women, if we go to a referendum, I expect you to reject gender equality. All right? I expect you, if they are bold enough to put it to referendum, I call on the woman them to reject gender equal e equality and submit to your husband. Spiritual advisor, doesn't the Bible want the woman them to submit to good absolutely, men? Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. Tell absolutely. the woman them. Absolutely, this I mean is always it's always been there. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing shy of that. Uh, Happy New Year, Mr. Monica, and spiritual advisor. May, may Almighty God lead, guide, and direct us all thank you. in the right direction and bring our country more closer to Him in oneness and in love. Folks, we're coming to the end of the show. We thank you for welcoming us. And um, tomorrow, I may have to look at Father James Palacios. Father is a misogynist. I do not like how father is attacking the woman them. And I shall defend the woman them. And I call on the PLP to tell Father James Palacios that the sins that he committed on the 50th anniversary of majority rule when he canceled the Negro people will not be tolerated this majority rule. James Palacios Ah oh boy, I can have to pray for you before I curse you off. This is Freedom March. Everybody, happy New The thoughts, views, and comments expressed by Rodney Monker, his guests, callers, and advisors on Freedom March are not necessarily those of the management, ownership, or production unit of ILS, the Verizon Media Group. Freedom March is a production of ILTV Studios and cannot be reproduced or represented in part or entirety without the express written consent of the Verizon Media Group. Freedom March is the intellectual property of the Verizon Media Group. Copyright 2017.